yeah, and and props to uh, Huang as well. She uh, shot really well, and uh, she managed to uh, uh, tie every arrow pretty much. Uh, but yeah, uh, the shoot off of uh, Kedar was just a bit closer. We'll go straight into our next match now. And we're going to have the, the men's bronze medal compound match between two. Chinese Taipei archers, and out they come. Young Chen Zhu, 30 years of age. He's at the back there, and walking out in front of him is Wei Chen Wei, 25 years of age. He qualified third, 43 tens, and a score of 583. Same number of tens for Yang, who finished fourth in qualifying. They needed a coin toss to get the rankings sorted between these two because there was nothing between them in qualification. So here is Chen. To the World Archery Championships in 2021, finished 57th. And Wei, a new archer on the scene. This is his first major international event. Yang's had good wins all the way through until he lost to Mike Slosha of the Netherlands, 149 to 40 in the semi final. And Wei also had some good wins before losing to Chen Tu Lun. 147 to 144. So we'll set up for what should be a fascinating match. Young, the more experienced of the two. Way. Well, let's see how he handles the the occasion here. He's going to go first. Wei Chin Wei. Okay then. Handling it just fine, Chef. Yeah, he uh, doesn't really take his time. He just goes into it <laughs> and rams it into the middle. Well, can he keep it going? Well, it seems like uh, his typical shot is just as quick as the, the first one we saw. So that's comforting in a way. Well, long hold, but it was a good one. Yeah, and a bit of more of a relaxed posture than uh, uh, from Yang than from uh, uh, Wei. You can see that this is very tense, and uh, yeah, he's really, you know, holding the bow in this uh, place where it seems like Yang is just gently hanging in there and waiting for the shot to go off. So two different uh, styles of shooting here. Well, brilliant last arrow for Young there. That's going to give him a one-point lead after the first end. Yes, Young. It's a touch on. He's also competed in uh, four World Cup events as well on the circuit. Finished best to finish a 33rd the ranking, and he's done that three times. So he has a bit of international experience. On his resume, you wonder how you wonder how relevant it is, uh, considering the fact that this might feel like a national event for them. Uh, it, it might feel like a national event in which a couple foreigners compete as well. But um, yeah, definitely uh, the the experience card goes to uh, Yang in this match. So twenty nine to twenty. That's a tight score, 29 all. So one of Wei's arrows must have just clipped the 10 zone. It's interesting to see the different approaches to shooting here where 
you can see that way really stands up straight has a lot of uh, muscle tension it almost seems and fires really strong shots where if you look at Yang right now it's more of a lean back you can see that his left shoulder is uh, is hanging back a bit he's just uh, like it's more of a hanging and, and relaxed sh uh, shot and it's not like the one is better than the other um, but yeah most of the time uh, uh, one thing will work better for you and that's what you stick with So wait, we'll finish with a nine. A young off. We're trying to get to fifth straight ten here. And he's got it. So he's starting to heat up. Five tens in a row now, Chef. Good effort. Yeah, for sure. Uh, he needed to get into the match a bit, but uh, now he seems to be dialed in and I think um, I've said this before, but I think he's gonna gonna shoot a lot more tense from now. Yes, he's so very speaking of the, on the shooting line. Speaking of the postures that I was uh, talking about earlier, is that um, most, if you look at the really high level archers, most archers have more of a relaxed and maybe uh, leaning back posture in the compound men division. Um, it also has to do with the fact. That they have a lot of weight on the bow so if you lean back a bit it's easier to hold up that uh yeah the mass weight of the bow um, and it just gives for a bit of an uh, a softer aim uh, movement because aiming is a movement you can never hold the side completely still but the heavier the bow is and, and the more relaxed you are uh, the less twitchy your aiming movement is so 13 underway and way starts with a 10. It's fourth ten and seven arrows. Ten, it looks like uh, Yang is really looking quite comfortable at the moment. Yeah, his international experience is showing, I think. He has a really tight group on up on his target. His uh, first arrow was uh, just out of the X ring, and ever since then he's just been shooting X's. So it, it looks really nice as well. As we look at a bit of a mistake from from Wei, it seemed like the shot didn't go off at the moment he wanted it to go off, and his sight wasn't just centered. Well, Yang's finished with another 10. He is going on a run at the moment. That is eight on the trot now. So Yang is feeling very happy on the shooting line at the moment. And is going to lock in a good four-point lead after three of the five ends. We'll hopefully get our pictures back for you again for you in just a moment. Let's remind you that the gold medal match is coming up shortly too in the men's compound between Mike Schlosser of the Netherlands and Chen Chia Lun of Chinese Taipei. So that will be our next match after this one. So again, stay with us, folks. We'll have our live pictures back for you very shortly. So we're underway again, and we're in the fourth end now. Way starting with a another nine. Yeah, just as I was talking about the group on the target face of uh, of Yang, uh, they changed the target face, so <laughs> not much to see there now. But 
it seems like he has the clear overhand in this uh, in this match. His uh, his uh, grouping is really tight, and uh, his composure is just really calm and collected. Well, as we know, it's a numbers game, archery. Ultimately, and well, that's his first miss for well, since the first arrow of the match. For Young. Uh, he had uh, nine tens in a row. So Way will end with a 10 in this end. But he's only had five in the match. And, and back after the slight the misjudgment, he's back on track, isn't he, Chef? Yeah, he, uh, and I think it's not even that bad of a shot. It just seems like... Um, because he shot so many tens in a row, if you if you miss the ten by a centimeter, then it seems like a very bad shot. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a, a reference thing, I think. Well, Jan going well here. He has got a four-point lead with three arrows left. Hundred and eighteen plays hundred and fourteen. Yeah, four points is, I wouldn't say it's impossible to bridge that gap, but uh, something would have to happen for uh, Wei to come back into this match. So uh, not only does he have to be perfect, but uh, Yang also has to miss big, and uh, he hasn't done so this match. So uh, um, four points also means that you um, you can just stay in the gold, and that's enough to win this match. So three nines would, uh, would be enough, but I'm sure that he's gunning for a 30. Absolutely. And on the other side here, Way, he needs three tens. And again, unfortunately, that's not quite there in this bronze medal match. Yeah, just keep shooting his relaxed shots, and uh, that's all he needs to do in this match. Um, and Wei is is fighting, but there is no no real way to come back from this deficit. No, there isn't, as is there is. Young now with his last arrow of the match. Needing just to get it on the board. And he'll win the bronze medal. And he's finished with a 10. What a score for him, 148. He's only dropped two points in this bronze medal match. That is wonderful archery from Young Cheongju.